Hi guys, Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to do a little something a little different today. I need some things for the home, so we are going to head over to one of my favorite local thrift stores to buy some practical things that I need. I've got a couple things going on at the house, and I also have some costume items that I need to get together. One specifically for my daughter. She goes to school at a Catholic grade school, and they are doing an All Saints um, celebration and so she needs a saint costume so let's get digging of course I got distracted right away I found these cute little napkins I thought they would be great for my Halloween display I think they were right around 59 cents or I'm sorry maybe a dollar 99 and all linens were half off today so those came home with me I continued to get distracted I found this great um, vintage California souvenir tablecloth that was $3.99, also half off today, so that came home with me. And then I thought this blue tablecloth would be good for her saint costume. Also $3.99, that came home with me. So, as you can see, I've found one item already for my saint costume, and I'm getting so distracted by some other things that might be good for resale, um, for my resale booth. But let's just keep looking. I love the linens here. They always have such beautiful ones. They organize them beautifully. They're clean, they're even ironed. It's really quite impressive. I did like this little rainbow set, but I decided to ultimately go ahead and pass and try to stay on task here. I have been looking at their kitchen or their uh, bathroom housewares. We are remodeling our bathroom right now. And I did find some um, Shower curtain hooks for $1.99. I couldn't believe how expensive they are on Amazon. I mean, they're like $13, $14 for a set of hooks. So I was glad to find those. I'm also always looking for artwork for the house or for my booth. You can see they have a lot. I thought that sign was cute. I do all my ironing in the dryer too. I don't even own an iron anymore. But they did have some little great vintage finds. Nothing that needed to come home with me today, but just some fun little pieces that I wanted to make sure I added to this video to show you guys. So for our um, saint costume, uh, she is looking for just something that can be used for kind of like a cape and also like a headpiece. I've also um, been looking for small little storage pieces for the house. I did like that little knickknack shelf. I thought that was really cute. And the thing I love about this thrift store is everything is so reasonable. I mean, a buck or two on items, which makes everything really affordable. I thought I'd check out these scarves to see if there was anything that might be able to work for our saints costume. I'm also always looking for silk scarves and vintage scarves. I got distracted once again and I started looking at the office supplies. Again, you guys, this is one of those things if you've looked on Amazon or even if you go to Walmart, office supplies are getting really expensive. I don't know what the deal is. I think it's just everything these days. So I do like checking to see what they have because things like um, art supplies, pens. I did grab these little vintage colored pencils. I loved the old, um, just kind of the coloring on them and the graphic on them. I thought those were great. And as you can see, they were under a buck. So those did come home with me. I'm also always looking for things like fabric glue, super glue. I mean, you can see they even have printer cartridges that are unused, really cheap. So when shopping for the home, I really like looking through all of their stuff to see if there's things that I can use in my home office. This little guy was tucked at the bottom. I used to love shirt tails. And the price was great, $1.99. Unfortunately, it did have a lot of damage. I don't think I would be able to get it clean. The stains on it were pretty bad. But for $1.99, a vintage collector will still love to snag this up. You can't beat that price. And so I wanted to add it to this video. I found these cute little poodle envelopes. Speaking of dogs, you guys can hear mine um, fighting in the background right now. They love to wrestle as soon as they know I'm recording. 
I thought this little vintage shopping um, calculator was cute. I do just love vintage stationery. I think the graphics are always really sweet. I did like this little set, but unfortunately there were only three pieces left in it, so it was not worth grabbing. S trying to stay on course with practical items for the home. I like to look through their greeting cards. They are under a dollar and they have tons to choose from, all brand new. And my daughter's making her confirmation soon, so I actually grabbed that confirmation card that you saw. You can see just lots of little knickknacks on the shelves. They do stock daily, which is always nice because, I mean, you can literally go in every day and it's different stuff to look at, which is always fun for serious thrifters like me. This little stone lamp thing was kind of cool. Price was a little high for me, but I did like it. Cute little brass elephant. I don't know if you guys know, but if an elephant figurine has the trunk up, that is a sign for good luck. Fun little plate there with some humor. Here's a bunch of neat um, kind of brown and amber bottles. Fun little collection right there. Mrs. Butters, Butterworth, Buttersworth, Butterworth um, syrup bottles. They also have a bunch of angel and kind of religious figurines. They have a whole section of stuff just like that. I got distracted again. I found this little set of um, reverse glass silhouette pictures. These are vintage. If I can buy these cheap, I do grab them because they do sell well in my booth. Here was a set. It said a set of five, but there was just a set of four, but that's okay. Um, $5.99 for this set and the graphics on these are just absolutely adorable little archery and raking leaves so I'm gonna go ahead and grab those and I will be adding those to my vintage booth I grabbed this vintage basket for the kitchen I thought it would be pretty hanging in my kitchen and then I grabbed this basket because I thought it would be great for my daughter's saint costume so see I'm trying to stay on task here I'm getting distracted but I did think that that basket would be good for her. I think that was uh, $1.99. I kind of got distracted by the holiday stuff, and then I was like, okay, it's time to get focused again. We need to get this saint costume together. So she, for her saint, is going to be Saint um, Elizabeth of Hungary. So I grabbed some of these fake grapes. These were so big in kitchens in the 60s, 70s. So I grabbed a bundle of those. I thought I would add them to the basket that she would be carrying for her costume. I got distracted again. I saw this little jewel tea marmalade jar. They had $7.99 on that. Not a bad price, but not much I could do with it. They also had kind of this vintage style um, kitchen towel that I thought was cute. And then I grabbed a cookie cutter because I thought oh I'm gonna make my own dog treats so you guys can see I really got distracted on this trip I found this fun house magic book all about making your house cozy and making it a positive environment found this cute vintage greeting card with the envelope the graphics are just beautiful on that I also got this little roll of thank you stickers. I thought this would be good for the stuff that I sell on eBay. I could stick those on the packages or I could even use them on bags when I do markets and events and things like that. And I found some more vintage greeting cards that I thought were really sweet. They had some fun little animal prints on them. And of course that little chipmunk one had to come home with me. Okay, guys, we have to focus again. So back to the saint costume. I thought it would be nice to add some flowers to the little basket she was holding. I also got a little piece of, it's kind of like lace ribbon. I thought that could be used in the costume. So I added those to the cart. And now I'll show you guys kind of what the final costume looked like. We used a dress that we got from the Goodwill bins. We tied it up with that little lace. She ended up using actually a white cloth on her head. That's actually a, um, 
It's a curtain that I found while thrifting. And then we tied it all together with the basket, the fake grapes. I even found a fake piece of bread. So it turned out to be a really cute costume. We ended up not using the blue fabric that I bought. But for $2, I'll either use it as a tablecloth or I'll pass it along to someone who might be able to use it. So it was hard to stay focused, but we did it. We got the costume knocked out. We got some things for the home, and I am so happy. Thank you guys for joining. Happy thrifting. And as always, have a great week. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys back here next time.